In this video, I'm going to show you how you can redirect a GoDaddy domain to another domain. Now, this is going to be an updated tutorial, which is going to explain the whole process. So first, you want to go to GoDaddy.com and, and then log into your account in the top right hand corner. Once you're there, head over to your account, go to My Products, and essentially you want to go to the GoDaddy dashboard. Once you're in the dashboard, you might be on this page or you might be on this page here, which says your name and your domains. Now to find your domains, if you've got more than one, go to domain here on the left, click on it, and it will then show you your domains. Now I'm going to be using knowledgebasehub.com as an example. So you want to find the domain and then go to forward domain. That will then redirect you to this window where you can choose some website builders, you can choose some social sites. But if you scroll to the bottom, you can forward to any site. So if you've got a URL that you want it to forward it to, you can put it here. So for the video, I'm just going to redirect it to Google, but you can redirect it to anywhere and whatever page you want. Now you want to click on next, and then it's going to tell you that the domain will be redirected to your destination URL, and it can take a couple minutes for this to update. So then click finish, and it's then going to apply those changes. You can now continue to your dashboard. So now if you go ahead and copy this domain, it might have updated straight away. It might take a couple of minutes. So let's open a new tab and try it. So right now my domain is still connected to system.io. Now if you want to double check your domain and make sure that you've got nothing else connected to your domain, just go to manage domain and then go ahead and go over to DNS. And on DNS, you wanna just make sure you've got um, these records deleted. So I'm going to delete any CNAME records that I can. Basically any records that aren't here by default, I'm going to go ahead and remove them. And once we've done that, we're all set. We can now just wait a couple of minutes and the domain should redirect to your destination URL. 